Tihik, I'm back. Cleaner bus, your trip cleaners. Mantra Tihik, I have a surprise for you because finally, for today's video, I'm gonna share it with you. The most requested video. And this is License Endorsement DIY from New York to Texas Board of Nursing. <laughs> For this video, I'm going to tackle about the process, the timeline, and the total cost of my license endorsement. First, create an account to Texas Board of Nursing website. Since I still don't have Texas license, so I answered here no. Create your Texas Nurse Portal account by giving your active email address. And after that, you will receive a confirmation email. Here you have to input your complete name, date of birth, and your security number if you have, and your password. And ta-da! Welcome to your dashboard. On the upper right corner, click the Apply for License button. And click Endorsement or an International and Puerto Rico Educated. Then read and understand the Texas Board of Nursing instructions. Click Next. So there are four steps in endorsement R and registration. Let me remind you, all with required button must have an answer. Let's start in step number one, the license application type. So here you will select RN. The country will be United States. Then input the jurisdiction that issued your initial license. For us, it's New York. And please indicate your license number. Take the request temporary license, then press the save and continue button. Let's move on to general information. A U.S. social security number is not a requirement to receive a Texas single state license. However, it is required if you are seeking multi-state. Since wala tayong social security, dun muna tayo sa single state mga katihik. It will be automatically filled up with your information. So if you are married, don't forget to put your single name in the maiden name box. For SSN, we can leave it blank. Answer your gender and your race. For me, I am an Asian. And since I am not Hispanic or Latina, so I answered no. Next, the contact information. I answered I am declaring a non-compact state as my primary state or territory of residency. Why I answered this? Because the three options are applicable to me. First is my primary state of residence is a state not participating in the nurse licensure compact. Check. Second is I am eligible for review of a single state Texas license only. Diba wala tayong SSN, so eligible lang tayo sa single state. Check! Last option. This option should also be used by individuals to reside in another country, territory, or province. So we're here in the Philippines, so check! After that mga katihik, we have to upload supporting documents. For me, I uploaded my driver's license. Next, input your residential address and your phone number. Now, let's proceed on education history. For the country, I answered Philippines. Program type will be RN. Program name is Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Then, input the complete address of your school. Education status, graduated. The degree obtained is Baccalaureate Degree Nursing. Next, input your graduation date. Lastly, input the education basis for licensure. It's Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Click Save and Continue. Mga katihik, let's proceed on the exam information. This will be your NCLEX information. So there is a question, have you ever taken the NCLEX? I answered yes. For the exam type, it is RN. And provide the date of your examination. The country will be United States. For the question, in what state did you register for the NCLEX? For our case, it's New York. Click Save and Continue. So let's proceed on the other USRN licenses. Here you will input your US license information. For the question, do you have ever held another nurse licenses? I answered yes. For the license type RN and input your US license number. For the country, it's United States and Board of Nursing is New York. Click save and continue. Let's proceed on the international nurse licenses. This will be your PRC license information. For the question, do you hold or ever held any international nurse licenses? I answered yes. 
For the license type, I answered registered nurse and I input my PRC license number. For the country, I answered Philippines, then I click save and continue. This will be the last part of the license application. It is answerable by yes or no. So to sign, please enter your full name and the date you answer this questionnaire. Click save and continue. We are now here on the step 2 of our RN endorsement. You have to review everything if you answered it correctly. And if you are now 100% sure that all the informations that you answered are correct, then tick that box and click the make payment button. By the way, you can pay it through credit or debit card. After paying, you go to your nurse portal and click that view status icon. In there, you can see what are the things you need to comply. After you submitted your application, you must take and pass the nursing jurisprudence exam and have your U.S. license and PRC license verified. How? Just go to the bottom part of your dashboard and there you can see all the links that you need. Magkatihik, let's start on our U.S. license verification. Just click the nurse's license verification for endorsement link and click that request verification button. Read the terms and conditions and click Agree. You can search your license through your name, license number, or NCSPN ID. Then take search on maiden or other names. Then I'm not a robot. Verify. Then click search. After that, you can see your license information, review everything, then click Next. Here, you will select the state that has required verification of licensure for the licenses listed above as part of your application for licensure. So for us, we will endorse our license to Texas, so we will take Texas. Go to the bottom and click Continue to Payment. Then enter your billing address. Note lang po mga katihik, you can pay this one through your credit card. So that's it mga katihik. Let's now proceed to the other requirement, the jurisprudence exam. So you just have to click the register button and fill this boxes. Enter your first name, last name, active email address, re-enter your email and your phone number. Then click continue registration. So here, please enter the reason for taking the exam. The reason will be our endorsement and also input your birth date. Under identity validation, you must remember all the answers that you put in there kasi lalabas yan sa exam. For the demographics, the highest level of education is Baccalaureate of Nursing, Texas County, Bell, and primary place of employment, inpatient hospital since a hospital naman ako ma-assign. Then click continue registration. So the passing rate of the exam is 75%. After passing the exam, then it will be completed. Let's now move on to fingerprinting. After you applied for an endorsement to Texas, you will receive an email from Identigo. Since we don't have Identigo Enrollment Center in the Philippines, we have to click this link. Click Submit a Fingerprint Card by Mail. Then continue. Carefully read the important notes, mga katihik. Below, put your first name, middle name, and last name. Enter your date of birth, email, and your phone number. Then click Next. Under Citizenship, enter your country of birth, which is for me, Philippines, city of birth, Cebu, country of citizenship, Philippines as well. Click Next. For personal questions, it is answerable by yes or no. Then click Next. Under personal info, you have to input your height, weight, hair color, eye color, preferred language, gender, and race. Then after that, click Next. Under address, you have to input your complete mailing address. Then next, and you can pay it through your credit card. 
After a successful pre-enrollment, you will receive a confirmation code in your email. Print this document. Then, you will have to affix your signature with a date. And print the applicant name, date of birth, phone number, and email. Please mail the following documents to the address provided below. This printed and signed document together with a completed fingerprint card. How to fill up fingerprint card. Remember, mga katihik, all the check marks should have an answer. Here's your guide, mga katihik. And this is what complete fingerprint card looks like. Let's now move on to our PRC license verification. Click the Texas RN verification request link. Print the form and fill out before going to PRC. Bring the following documents to PRC. And send these to this address. And ta-da! All completed! Timeline And our total cost is 17,649.95 pesos only, mga katihi. And with those simple steps, I'm now a registered nurse in the state of New York and Texas. Of course, mga katihi, nakasave na naman tayo sa ating DIY license endorsement. Thank you so much for watching, mga katihi. And please comment down below kung ano yung gustong videos niya na i-share ko.